Hey guys, it's Ben here from the MC Memes, and I'm just going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a mod pack server. So first off, you're gonna go to your browser. Chrome is what I'm using. I'm gonna go files.minecraftforge.net, and what you're gonna do is download 1.7.2 latest or the recommended version when it comes out for 1.7.2, or the current game version when this tutorial comes out dated a little bit. So you're gonna go to latest, and you're gonna go over to the star next to the installer. And when you click that star, it'll automatically give you a direct download. You're gonna press keep and save it to your desktop. And what you want to do with that, you're gonna press open with. You can either choose Java TMSC binary, or if that doesn't show up, you can browse through your program files, your Java program files times a6 Java GRB bin, and you can pick your Java there. Or if you're using Windows 8, you're just going to click Open With, and you're going to have to find Java TMSC binary. If you don't have Java, for I don't know why you would be trying to run a server anyway, but or Minecraft at all. So I'm just going to open up this mod system installer by opening this with Forge. You're going to click on Install Server, and click these buttons because you don't want to be installing it .minecraft. And you want to find your where you want to find a folder that you're saving it to and press OK and since I already have all the files in there it's not going to require me to download any if there is a failed download which may happen and is likely to happen you can either run it again until it works or what you can do you, all the folder is always going to be there like if you create if you start downloading thing, it fails the folder is going to be there and you can simply go into your dot minecraft or do a uh, Windows key R, or if you're on Windows A, just type the computer into your thing over on the right. Just go to your .minecraft, go to your what is it? Libraries folder, and all the folders will be here. Like there's still this, still here, and you'll take that one and just drag it there. Okay, so now that you have this, you're going to, want to get yourself a or to actually run. Java or just run the server. So what you're gonna do is go is you're gonna have to copy and paste what I'm gonna put up in the description or you can just simply write it down. I gotta find one. Okay. It's going to be what you're gonna do is run this. Java this this. So you're run, running with Java using well I'm using five gigabytes by or 5 gigabytes max, 4 gigabytes minimum. So that's a very high, or high for most computers, uh, server, or high memory server. And that's going to be Minecraft Forge Universal.jar and no GUI. Dot, and then do pause. Or you can just copy this from the description. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to copy this file and paste it into here. Or if, when you have to make a new file, you're going to go to New, uh, Text Document. I'm just going to name this Run1.bat. And when you edit this and put all the files from here, when you put these into here, fail. Fail. This, that's my guard. Okay. Add it. And you put that here. You're just gonna write. No, you don't do that. You're gonna file, save as. You're gonna you run it all files. And you run one dot bat. Yes. I want to replace it. <laughs> Wait. Didn't work. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna be using WordPad here. I guess. Just gonna add it. File save as all files. Run it run run that bat. There we go. And you have to make sure it's one of these run files. If that ever ha ha happens, just make sure you don't save it as txt. And then you just um, run this. And that's not going to work because this is not renamed Forge just Universal. So it has to be named for as universal for this to work. Um, 
that's oh wait what well, this thing right here this has to be the same as what's here or in this forge thing so minecraft forge dash universal is what I have it saved as and you have to include the dot jar just because it's a jar file I'm just going to rename this minecraft forge dash universal and now when you run it this is going to start up and you will you know it's just going to start working stuff and when this finally works it's going to create all your server files that are normally coming up see and for some reason it's doing all this junk it might do a lot of stuff the first time you try to do this but you're going to get these two consoles that come up just minimize them both and you'll have all these files here uh, what you're going to do with any mod files that you get say you go to your computer or I'm just going to go to my dot minecraft and I have a bunch of mods saved here uh, I mean a lot a lot of mods so what you're going to want to drag over to your mods folder here is every mod uh, inside of, of your dot minecraft or whatever you're trying to make a server for all the mods that are server side so I mean like damage indicators mod and Zan's minimap or right here these two I would not drag over to this mods thing though I'm not going to but I would drag everything else over so I just like I drag like all these files over into there or just copy and paste and do that and it will make a mod pack with all these different mods that are inside of it just make sure all the mods are working if you ever get crash reports you just gotta figure out why so thanks for uh, watching my tutorial on making a server side mod or not server side mod, server side mod pack blah well this is uh, this has been Ben here and See you later. Dun, dun, dun. Step, step, step.